Hey guys, it's Beanie Boo Wolf, and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, you read from the title, I'm going to be doing a Beanie Boo customization tutorial. Episode 1. I've been getting so many comments asking, how do you change the eye colors? How do you remove the mouth? How do you do this? How do you do that? Well, I think it's about time I show you guys how to customize Beanie Boos. And keep in mind that this is just episode one, so it's gonna be kind of for the very basic and simple stuff, like how to color on them correctly and how to paint on the nose and stuff like that. It's mostly for the people who've never customized a Beanie Boo and want to, but just don't know how to do it. But as the episodes go, it'll get more complex, like how to change the inside ear fabric or how to change the eye color, which a lot of people have been asking. So yeah, I just wanted to clear things up real quick. And without further ado, let's get this video started. So the first thing you're going to need is a plan, like how you're gonna make this custom look and stuff like that. The plan can either be digital, a drawing, or just something in your head. But make sure it's like a solid plan, like you know what you're gonna do and yeah. My plan for this custom will be a pink, orange, and yellow fennec fox. Her legs, ears, tail, and snout will be pink, orange, and yellow. And keep in mind, this is just for the example. Your custom does not have to look like this, and it doesn't have to be the same Beanie Boo that I'm using. It can be however you want it to be. I'm just saying you have to have a plan. So when adding color to your Beanie Boos, you're gonna want to use marker. Marker will keep the fur soft and it won't really affect the texture. And make sure the markers are permanent because that way it'll stay in the fur. Another important thing is that you should color it thoroughly. Like, don't just scribble on the Beanie Boo and call it a day. Like, actually put effort into the coloring. I recommend using multiple layers of color if you want it to look professional. And also, small details matter too. Like, color on those areas that not a lot of people pay attention to, like the back of the legs or something. Coloring on those small places might be a little bit tedious and hard, but in the end, it'll look awesome. Trust me. If you just put some effort into it, your custom will turn out amazing. Okay, once you're done coloring your Beanie Boo, you're gonna wanna wait for it to dry. And usually it takes about 10 to 15 minutes. It really depends on how much you colored on it. And once the fur is dry, it might be a little bit crusty, but don't worry, you can fix that easily. All you need is a hairbrush. If you just brush the fur for a couple minutes, then it should be soft again. Okay, that's pretty much all you need to know about coloring your Beanie Boos. Now I'm gonna be showing you guys how to paint on the nose. So the first thing you're going to need is paint, obviously, and a small paintbrush. So you're just gonna wanna go onto the nose and start painting it. When painting on the nose, use multiple coats of paint and also don't rush. You have to go very slowly if you want it to look good. And be extra careful when you're painting on like the edges where the nose meets the fur because you don't want to get paint on the fur, do you? Once you're done painting the nose, it should look something like this. Now all you need to do is wait for it to dry. And once the nose is dry, you're going to want to go over it with clear nail polish because it gives the paint extra protection so it doesn't chip off or anything like that. And also it just makes it a lot more shiny and natural looking. And just like painting on it, be very careful. Try not to touch the fur and do not rush. You guys know what to do. And here's the finished result. And usually this takes a very short time to dry, just like the paint. In fact, this is already almost dry. So yeah, guys, that right there was episode one of my Beanie Boo customization tutorial. And remember, keep in mind, this was just episode one. It was mostly for the people who are new to customizing. So yeah, be sure to stay tuned for more episodes because they will get more complex as they go. But yeah, that pretty much concludes the rest of the video. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.